All right, guys, well, there it is. This is uh, my version of the T Chisel bench. I'll give you the 15 second tour. A um, couple things, uh, and I just wiped it down Danish oil. I figure, you know, if I'm going to spend 10, 12 hours making this thing, I might as well protect it against my kids dropping a Coke on it or whatever. Um, you know, it's uh, 60 inches long, 30 inches across. I use the same 10 by 40 uh, continuous action vise that Tommy uses. Uh, you can see everything's square, nice and flat. Uh, I, I just personally chose, I figured since I was going to make the bench, and I'm probably not going to make another bench for a long time, I figured I might as well make it as nice as I can. Uh, keeping the cost down. This vice or this bench altogether cost me five hundred and thirty dollars to build, including the hardware, the vice, the bench top from Granger, uh, the vice from BE Atlas, one hundred twenty nine bucks. Top was like two hundred dollars. I used hard maple. I used a single seven foot long board that was about twelve and a half wide, eight quarter thick. And I was able to make the whole thing, including using the maple for the uh, vice block. Um, let me see. You don't see any of the any of the threaded rod because what I did was after running datos and uh, and uh, and uh, making the parts, I then made strips. And I glued and planed all the visible joints, uh, all the visible grooves, so to speak. So uh, anyway, that's what it is. No big thing. But anyway, I'm kind of proud of it. Uh, it's going to meet my needs. Thanks for having a look. See ya.